My table saw already has an excellent stop block system that is quite heavy duty and offers repeatability for really any woodworking project. But for this project it just won't cut it. What I need is something that cannot be bumped out of alignment at all and it must be micro adjustable. And that's really all it needs to be. So I first routed a groove into my sacrificial fence and then I used my homemade T-slot cutter to expand that into a slot for the head of a T-bolt. And then I reinstalled the fence a little closer to the blade and that way I could re-establish a fresh zero clearance edge. I didn't have any T-bolts lying around so I made some real quick. I didn't have any epoxy or thread locker on hand so I just secured the threaded rods with two tacks. I didn't clean off the oil before welding, but it's gonna be fine. For the stop block I used a piece of birch plywood. And I drilled a hole all the way through. And then I tapped the hole. And finally I drilled the hole for the T-bolt. For an adjustable stop I found this allen bolt. It only has a partial thread so I need to drill out some of the thread from the stop block. And the bolt screws in nice and tight. So this is my high precision micro adjustable stop block and I can adjust it using an allen key. Every sixth of a revolution is a quarter of a millimeter and a sixth of a revolution is very easy to get a hold of because the allen key has six sides. But of course it can be adjusted even more precisely than that. And in order to do that I first set it a little oversized with my calipers and then I sneak up to my final dimension by very carefully adjusting that bolt. But of course this does only make sense to a certain degree. But for some projects the tolerances just need to be set tighter than for others. <laughs> 